demo you last heard. Hey, where at on her? Oh, you said Hearn. Okay, that's why I went all the way down there when you said Hearn, because <clears throat> worship center, I don't know what I was thinking, Baptist Church, so I went that way, and I was going to turn around right here at Hearn and uh, Deckard. So, all right, you up there? All right, I'll be there in a second. Be advised, we're going to be around the back of the building. Yeah, 10 foot. 12, 10 foot. 12, 10 go ahead. Myself and 1207 are going to be at the worship center on Cook's Lane for a disturbance. How are y'all? 10 foot. How are you? Oh, I'm all right. <laughs> Some excitement. Oh yeah, they around back. You know? They're on this side. They're on this side. Okay. Thought he was like well, they said they were around back. Yeah, I'm not gonna go. It looks like they're. See, he called the church department on me one time. It hurt. I went to his office and talked to him. I turned it quick. Yeah. And so I was just caring for myself. Right. I go into his office. I leave and go to the courthouse. He and I was the only two people that knew I was going to the courthouse. Right. Somebody called the sheriff's department and sent them over there. Right. to 
frisk me. Yeah. Hey, so you have a driver's license on you? Yeah. We just want to identify. We have to do a call for service. Yeah. Anytime we get called anywhere, we get call for service. We have to identify everybody. Right. Yes, that way we got a long paperwork. I understand. <laughs> yeah. That man does not to need to be a judge. He does not need to I be in a position. And he knows it, or he wouldn't still initiate it. I talked to a lady about this today. Right. And she said, don't question him. Yeah. Don't look at him. And I never made eye contact with him. Right. I walked straight in the door. So you're not living in Dyke, Texas yes. anymore? Yes. I bought a house. Okay. But I stay here some. Right. I stay up there some. Okay. Hey, ain't nobody fought me for that. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, we just want to check it out. We just, it's a little bit of a so, uh, I will let the people in here know that he called out. Yeah. Yeah, so we're not here. We're not here to harass you. We're here just to simply sorry, identify to make sure there's no problem. You know what I'm saying? Well, see, he's had to run up the county. Go ahead. And zero six zero three six seven one zero one four three zero three six zero three six five zero six zero one four three zero three six zero three six zero one four three zero three six zero three six five. I can say I can tell you where he violated the yeah. Texas code right back here. All right. This was the final county. Mm -hmm. You seen on there where each side was supposed to take care of their own right. attorney fees. What does he do? This is the money that was in the county that was put in his trust fund to mm -hmm. pay this. What's the first thing that went out of this money? Yeah. Okay. This was the disbursements on that money, right here. See, the 6,500. Mm -hmm. 3,250 3, was supposed to come to me. Right. Zero six seven one three six six five. Uh, I got $461 is what really I got. Oh, here we go. I think this is it. Enclosed is your check for $491.61. Yeah. Is that theft? Hmm. <laughs> is that a violation of this code right here, which right. the detective mm -hmm. or the county attorney right. told this to me. They said, this is a violation of fiduciary duty. Right. Which is a state jail felony 3245. Yes, sir. And uh, for him to do this right here shows you what kind of an individual he is. I understand. Well, sir, I'm going to tell you right now, where is it? I get back. You got back? You're good to go. I mean, I, <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't see, you got a right to force your opinion as long as or, Yo, I don't you didn't make any, as long as you make any threats or anything like that. Okay. Or, He's threatened me. Yeah. And also the district attorney, Mr. Pascoe, threatened me. Right. Do you have a smartphone? Huh? Do you have a smartphone? Well, it's, it's, right there. it's a lot smarter than I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think the same thing about it. <laughs> okay, so you got an iPhone. Well, pretty much what I'm saying I is... I don't. only thing I use this for is to text... Copy. Yes, sir. Well, yeah. So, okay. so on your iPhone, it has a thing on there for uh, uh, voice recordings. Yeah. So if something like that happens again, either you can hit the camera button and do a video, and you can record where you're at right now. <laughs> Slide like, over to where it's record all conversation yeah. right now. Yeah. Slide over to video or, or something like that, and I can't for some reason I can't find that voice recording, but it's got something in here for a voice recorder. Yeah. Oh, it's right there. Voice yeah. memos. Yeah. So you can click on that, and that way you can put it in your pocket, and, it can and it's recording the whole entire time. So I mean, that's good for if something does happen. Well, that way, I'll tell you something else. You done? I was in the in the courthouse up here, passing this flyer out mm -hmm. right here. I gave one to Stan. <laughs> Stan walks around the corner and throws it in the trash can. Yeah. So what well, I knew he was. So. Russ comes up to me, walked upstairs, walked right up, he walked up and he goes, 
Bumping you. Yeah, doing that. And he was wanting me to hit him. Yeah. And I just kept my hands down to the side and tried like this. And one of the secretaries in the clerk's door, I was at the top of the second flight of stairs. Mm -hmm. And one of the secretaries sitting in the clerk's office, I would not maim her mm -hmm. because had I named her, she wouldn't have had a job. Right. So I went and filed the complaint over at the police station. Mm -hmm. And that was far as it went. You went right. to you went to Ar to Franklin Police. Yeah, or you went Franklin. To, or the I went to county. Franklin with that, okay. and I went to Hearn. But you went with county up here at the sheriff's department. Yeah, the courthouse will be county. Yeah. Well, I'm saying that you went you went to the sheriff's oh. department to file whatever complaints you had. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. wouldn't you didn't go to Franklin PD. Okay. Well, no, I went to an office. I didn't didn't go to the sheriff's sure. department. They told me Code four, to take no need to the city. Sure. Okay, well that'll be us. And, and so that's what I went to the city and right. filed it. How long ago was that? Oh, that that was in about oh three. Yeah, okay. A long time ago. Yeah, a yeah, long time it's, ago. It's time passed. Yeah, that's but, before I've been there. But, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah before me. Well, yeah. <laughs> the lady in the in the the secretary for the district attorney and told me she looked and said, Oh, that's old. That's <clears> old. <throat> I bit my tongue to keep from replying. I started to ask her, Were you telling me those ladies that are coming out accusing Weinstein of sexual harassment and rape and all of this stuff has no right to say that because a lot of that was old. Yeah. So. I well, yeah, as long as you don't make any threats, I mean, like he said, you're good to go. And like like I told you, you have a smartphone, use it to your advantage. If you get put in a situation where somebody's threatening you or cussing you out or doing something like that, record it. So that way you can show it to us and we have, you know, actual audio or visual a lady, proof. A lady that's inside told me today, said, do not say nothing to him. Your presence is going to be enough to upset him. Right. <laughs> so that's what he used. Yeah. Just be in his. If he's in the hand, because he knows what's in this. Right. So he feels threatened, so he's going to call y'all. But anyhow, you're pretty good. Y'all have a great night. All right, you too. I'm going to walk in here, but I'm going to walk out the other way. All right, we'll walk around. Dude, I wasn't trying to tell Brian to take it. <laughs>